Hello everyone and welcome back to Leif Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. In this video we really need to get the science back from the station and I think we have a fair amount. 3,000 samples. 3,000 data of samples. Da data? Data of samples? Yeah, I guess so. Let's transmit this stuff though. So yeah, 3,000 in samples will be enough for us to unlock the next technology. Maybe the vessel that sends our next lander will be a vessel that can also come back. So the lander will separate off from the transfer vehicle, but the transfer vehicle will come back with the samples. I hope. Well, that's a theory. Alright, uh, we've got some more experiment going on. But we'll leave that be. Let's go to the tracking station, get to the next leaf window, and then proceed with this plan. The next base module will not be exactly a plane. Uh, I mean, to be fair, mostly the planes worked as far as the landing gear. Somebody suggested that the landing gear had been on backwards. That's not the case, because I've flown a lot of planes in KSB and it, it's not. Uh, but, I mean... But maybe, maybe they would work up, work, work better backwards for all I know. So, how are we going to do this? Maybe we should have a vehicle with all the wheels. <laughs> all the wheel redundancy you could possibly ask for. Mark II parts are very aerodynamic. It's possible that with the Mark II parts we wouldn't need other wings. Now, previously I had used Mark II parts for a base on the moon, and they were fairly successful because they didn't tip over. Uh, when they bounced up, you know, they're fairly flat to the ground, uh, so the only problem was they tended to clip into the ground sometimes in that particular version of KSB-2. But otherwise, you know, when they accidentally hopped up off of the surface, uh, they stayed basically flat because they're Mark II parts and they are basically flat. So that's good, and maybe we wouldn't even need to have additional wings. And that will be more efficient overall. Or Leif could disagree with this and be picky about it, but it's a thought. Also, I wouldn't have to put a nose cone up front, but if we want to dock many of them together, I want a nose cone up front. Hmm. And then um, there's no Mark II cone, is there? There's no Mark II cargo bay that lifts up like that. So maybe they'd have a docking hub on their tail? I mean, these can carry four people apiece, so that's enough space for 14 Kerbals. It's not very roomy, so we should probably only have like one in each of these, but... We still want it to aero capture, so it sort of has to fly. And it also has to fly to get to the location. Uh, it does move a little bit back. When we are fueled. It moves forward after we drain some fuel. But let's put the, dock, uh, the docking ports on. Now if we expect something to dock here, we can't have too much of a wing is the trick here. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about shielding this too much. Well, okay, 1000 Kelvin, maybe we do need to worry about shielding it. But, at least it's not hydrogen tanks, I suppose. That's 1500. That's 1500. Why is this one 1000? I object. The, this one and that one should be 1500 as well. Same here. Those are Mark II parts. Why can't they be the same as the other Mark II parts? <sighs> okay. Anyway. think maybe medium, the 1350 Kelvin will be good enough. Hopefully the thickness helps it too. We're thinking about if something else docks here. And it might have the similar shaped wing. You could sort of imagine another wedge fitting around here. I think we'll try and have this be a pitch control app, ah, shoot, a pitch control, and so I'll move it back. And then we'll have an all-moving surface right here for roll. 
No, no, the cockpit is just too heavy. We need something else in the back. Well, we will need power. So, of course, we're going to use RTGs. They probably ha ought to have some downside to, uh... ...to using nuclear stuff, since they have more nuclear stuff now here. We do also need the jets. Well, before I forget, let me make sure these are on roll. These are on pitch. And these pitch and yaw. Oh, we can dump another reaction wheel in the back. Oh, wait, these aren't the Mark II sized. Uh, maybe actually having one of these before this would be a good idea. And battery. We can have battery. So, again, the principle is that we need to make sure that this, uh, another one of these can dock to here off using its tail docking port. Is the goal. Then we can string a whole bunch of them together and turn it into a base. The other principle is we're going to have some rover wheels and see if this can also be a rover. That ground clearance isn't for very good, though. I like the bigger impact tolerance, but I'm not too sure those are good. Let's see. They look fancy with their rims and everything. Maybe we can sort of net-net move the center mass back by moving these more like that. The landing spot is fairly flat. So maybe we don't have to worry about it, but maybe I should put some wheels in the center, just in case. But then it clips into the wing. I don't want that. Okay. Okay. That's some of it. We have a few other details to work out. We need some extra fuel for our jets, and then we'll, we're going to have some Weasleys. How we're going to put the Weasleys is the other bit. Be nicer just to have one Weasley. And having no fun with two of them. Will two Weasleys balance out the cockpit? Oh, they may, might be too much, actually. Uh, yeah. They're a little bit too much for the cockpit. Well, if we had a back end with two docking... Well, no, that, doesn't, that wouldn't be any good. Just make things weird. Things are already weird. That's no good. It's getting in the way of the wheel. Well, if we just had one Weasley on the top. Ton of methane. Maybe that's better. I'd rather not have two tons of methane, but maybe a ton of methane is okay. This very much depends on our aerodynamic surfaces being able to compensate for the thrust up here. How fast can these wheels go? Does impact tolerance 100 meters per second? Now we can't rotate off of a runway like this. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll, we'll put all kinds of landing gear. Redundancy. 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 Well, we're gonna have those wheels in the back protecting our tail, I guess. Okay. The not-so-fly safe. Um... The car shark. With the little spark engines, it's got 588. That's what I really wanted. That's just for corrections in uh, around lathe. Corrections around lathe. Maybe a boost on the ground, who knows. Okay. First, let's see if it can fly. We have Shulkin Kerman in here. Bless her. Okay, here we go. And you should not have auto-switch. 
I don't think we can rotate. That those are hopping. Those are totally hopping. What's that about? I don't think we can rotate much with those wheels there. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no. Rotate, rotate. Okay, we can't. Okay, let's bring that back. I think there's just no way we can have them that far in the back. We Maybe we just need taller landing gear as our main landing gear. Now that gives us more ability to tilt. We'll see if it's enough ability to tilt. The fact that the engine is upper mounted actually pushes us into the runway in a way that's not great. We haven't put the parachutes on yet, which is part of the backup plan here. It's a hopping. I thought I reduced the suspension, darn it. Can it fly? It's it's all going all over the place, but it's not flying. Ah, okay, no, that's a stall. Ah, oh. ah, we'll revert. Hmm. I'm gonna increase the size. Of, well, hold on. That could cause. I mean, that's already pretty rough. Let's see, what happens when the fuel is all gone? No, practically doesn't move at all. Well, that's fine. That part's okay. I guess we will have to allow for some more span. We definitely need more lift the way we are going. Okay, let's see. Speed seem okay-ish. But it might just be the fact that the jet's pushing us down. It's keeping us down. And the aerodynamic surfaces aren't good enough to compensate for that. The bounciness is crazy though. Come on, just go up. Just go up. <laughs> it's okay, okay, don't do that. Don't. Ah. 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 <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this putting the Weasley on top thing is working out for me. So. We want. A bunch of smaller ones. Well, I guess it could be worse. Let's just put them all over the place. And this is like if a Learjet enthusiast went mental. And this is still hoppy as heck. Ah! It just doesn't like having those little wheels on, I feel like. It's like the wheels are jealous of each other. Uh, we're coming back down. Gosh. Oh no, this is not flying well enough. I think the rover wheels have just way too much something or another. Oh, okay, proving once again that I can get most ridiculous things to fly. But this is sure not pulling up very well. What if I add you guys to the pitch crew? It really likes these for pitch. I wanted those just to be rolled, but... It's much happier with those doing pitch as well. In theory, it would horribly block the aerodynamics of the main wing, but... We're not... We're not doing those kinds of aerodynamics. 
<laughs> this is a base module. <laughs> Just wanted to make that clear, it probably isn't that first blush. Well, I guess we're trying to land it. Uh, once again, lined up between the two runways. Great. Okay. Okay, sudden retraction of landing gear. Nope. There's practically no ground clearance with those bottom jets though. That is a wide turning circle. Do these even steer? <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe... I don't know if the steering... I can't see, the steering is very fine. I think they're tilting the right way. Okay. Landing gear again. Okay. Well, there's a problem. Landing gear dies if... In this situation, whatever you call this situation. Trying to extend the landing gear right there, killed all the landing gear. Instant, instantly. Hmm, interesting. Let me reduce the amount of fuel you can have in here. This is only for the sparks after all. If we can get away with not having these bottom jets, we could probably do better without them. These, I guess we'll have to allow pitch on them. So, how heavy are you? 16 tons fueled. So I think it depends on how well the parachutes work on lathe. Comms. We'd like an always open one, but... Boy, that's gonna mess with our aerodynamics even more, so... Maybe not? Well, this one seems alright. It should have enough range. Okay, let's try it again. Bouncy, bouncy. Apparently nothing I can do to this landing gear is gonna stop. Damper strength? More damper strength? I've reduced the strength, spring strength already. Okay. Stay flying. Stay flying, please. Stay flying. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Just barely. That is, that is lower than its takeoff speed. Okay, I give up. I think we need the other jets. Weak. Okay. Yes, more jets, please. I want to see the condition where extending landing gear again will be fine. Won't actually bust it. Please stay flying, please stay flying. Okay, we're gonna try and use the parachutes. Hopefully they'll work fine at Leif. Leif's at atmosphere isn't too different. Alright, shut off and parachute deployment.
funny lines. Uh oh. Apparently we need to move move the parachutes a bit. Oh, okay, we really can't lose the back docking port. That's fundamental to the whole situation. Let's see if we can ever extend the landing gear here. Okay, it didn't go poof this time. All right, let's rebalance the parachutes. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no, don't go tilting. Don't, don't go tilting. No, uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's maybe even use some of the spark fuel. Bit choppy around here, really. Okay, let's try the parachutes. Well, better. We'll see if it's safe for the docking port. We could try and land on the landing gear, too. It is a streamlined lathe base module, an SLBM. Oh wait, um, <laughs> that might be occupied by some other acronym. Um, well, we didn't lose the, the docking port. Something went poof. Oh, a whittle. I didn't even notice which whittle. No, those whittles. Sea launch ballistic missile. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. There's also a qu I mean, we could use the land land on the landing gear, and it'll probably save the whittles. The whittle would. Oh, but then yes, the landing gear can do weird things like that. You see. But I think that does it for testing with this. I think we're going to trust it. 